Hi everyone, this is Tommy Walker from Leashing on Mindset for Success. And we're getting to the end of 2019. Uh, the day after tomorrow, we're going to be going into January 2020. And I've been seeing a lot in, in the internet, people just posting what they're going to do next year, what they're going to accomplish, their goals, uh, they're looking into the future. And that's amazing. And we need to do that to be able to focus and know where, uh, what, what is kind of the blueprint of where we're going to go. But what I would like to ask everyone is to slow down a second. And yes, we're going to make our goals for next year. But how about first looking back? Okay, if we don't look back and see where we're coming from, what we have achieved and really be grateful for that, uh, learn from the different difficult situations we went through, challenging situations, people just want to jump into the future and start organizing and seeing what they're going to do. It's not bad, but what's the intention in it? What I would recommend that first of all, you go back, okay, go back to 2019 to the January where the year starting, you were setting, or 2018, December, where you were setting your goals for this year and see out of the goals that you set for this year, which ones did you achieve, which ones, which ones you weren't able to and learn from that. Use every different chatting situations you went through this year to be able to grow, understand, learn from them instead of just setting new goals. What people do is maybe I didn't achieve these goals this year, so I feel bad about myself or something's going on. I don't feel comfortable and I just want to go set goals for next year and just forget this year. I want to get over 2019. It was a bad year and I want to just move forward. And you want, you know what? This year was, was one of the worst years of my life in different aspects. Okay. And I use that to learn to become a better version. As I was mentioning in earlier videos, as we don't have the correct tools, normally we just want to jump away of the problem. Okay, the problem that we're seeing, this challenging situation, is here and we can learn out of it and really use it as a trampoline to become a better version of ourselves, much greater, better, better, better version of ourselves and not just a little bit growing. If you look back in your life, whenever you went through a challenge situation, challenging situation and you made it through, how did you come out the other, on the other side? Was it the same you on the other side or was it a greater you on the other side? Okay, so the truth is that when we're chilling out, we're just okay and everything's fine, we're growing very slowly. But when we get into these challenge situa challenging situations that we really go into a dark place, we feel the world is going to end, once we get on, out on the other side, it's like we have chipped out of ourselves a lot of the things, old habits, old patterns, old limiting negative beliefs that we had and have become this greater version of ourselves. So instead of just jumping into next year and trying to see whatever next year is going to bring, if you can, go back, do a review of this year. What did you want to accomplish this year? What did you accomplish and what did you learn during the process of accomplishing. It's not just, okay, yeah, I got my new car, I got this new, I got a new kid that I want to do, uh, uh, grow the family, I want to make more money per month, whatever. Whatever you are setting as a goal, look back and see what can you learn out of it, okay? Because a lot of people just dump, okay, so I was talking to somebody that he wanted to make I don't know, 10K a month and he was making it and he was already trying to figure out what was his gonna next goal be, and that's good, but again, what did he learn out of making these 10K? What got greater in his life because of the business, because of this? What did he let go of his past that was preventing him from getting to 10K? Okay, or doing whatever you were looking in your life to accomplish. So instead of just looking into the future, use every situation you went through to learn, to really get this hidden kind of learning experience that a lot of people just miss. People just see a problem, as I was just saying, and they want to go around it, jump over it, and get lost. I don't want this problem. But they don't understand that this is a challenging situation that's bringing a learning experience that's going to chip part of yourself off to become this greater version of yourself. And that's the idea of these challenging situations, to grow, to become a better version. Yeah, we can see it as a victim. Oh, I cannot believe this is happening to me. Why? Why? And just complain and bitch around it. No, or we can do 
what a lot of people do is grow, become better at what they're doing by really understanding what they went through, what they're learning out of it, and not just feeling they're the victim. Okay, so again, instead of looking into the future first, okay, you can do that afterwards. First, look inside, see what's going on. Okay, what can I work on 2019, learn out of these situations I went through, and then when I have those these learning experiences or everything that I have digested, I have reflected on, I can set my goals for next year. But am I running away from 2019? And that can help you too. Just breathe a little bit, sit, sit straight as I always say, and breathe. Breathe in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Do it five times if you need to. Just relax a little bit and just say, okay, am I running away from 2019? I had a really bad year in different aspects of my life and I had great uh, situations, learning experiences in other aspects of my life. But the ones that made me stronger, made me greater, were the challenging situations that were the worst in my life. So let's stop thinking that we are the victim and start thinking that they, these are great opportunities to grow into a greater version, get rid of these old parts, limiting beliefs, false beliefs that we have running in our subconscious mind to become this greater version, okay? So I hope you guys have a great 2019 end. Now, just getting there, if you're just watching the video in January, just still go back. If you already put your goals for next year and you're in January and you're already watching this video after the New Year's, okay, started, it's fine. Just go back a second and do this. Look at the small wins and the try to figure out, I don't know, five big things that happened in your life. What did you do in last, uh, this 2019 or if you are in 2020, this past year, and figure out, okay, what did you learn out of it, out of each if you wanted to run away, why did you run away? What were your feelings in these different challenging situations? And then look, if you already set your goals, look at them and see if you're running out of them, out of the past and try to look into the future or you're just, okay, yeah, this happened this year, but I want to now this year do this. So just, you can cheat yourself, of course, you're not going to cheat me because it's okay, but you can try to cheat, teach, uh, cheat yourself and just say, no, I'm not running out. I didn't like this year, but I'm just looking forward, looking forward. A lot of people always say they want to look forward, go take action, whatever. No, that is going to get you a growth, but it's much smaller than if you really learn out of a specific situation and put together, as I always say, thinking and emotions, rationalize and emotional, put it together and become this greater version of yourself. Because when we go through the challenging situations, we get these, all these feelings come out and we try to put them away. No, don't put them away. Face them, understand them. And that's going to bring a really big growth in your life. Try it. Try it for a month and even try it for a week, two weeks and see what happens. If you go through a challenge situation, what, do I, what am I feeling? What is going on in my head and in, inside of me? Okay, what are these things that I'm feeling? I'm feeling negative, um, uh, depressed, uh, stressed out, anxiety, whatever. Okay. What am I feeling and why am I feeling this? And when we work around that, again, the growth we get is amazing. Look at that back and see how much you have grown. And also make this list that's going to help you to be grateful for what you have. I've been talking to people that, okay, yeah, I want to make this, I want to make this, I want to make this. They've done it and now they're looking for and seeing What's the next step they want to get? When I get this, I'm going to be so happy. They get there and now they want, I'm going to be happy now if I make whatever. Next step, next month, next year, or whatever. So you can see that a lot of people are running after happiness and they don't understand that happiness has to be here and external factors shouldn't, shouldn't, although it happens to a lot of people, shouldn't affect my happiness. My happiness is here and I go for these things. If they don't happen, it's okay. I go for another thing. I learn from that situation, as I was saying. So guys, I hope you have a great end of 2019. I hope this year brought challenging situations and made you grow. And next year brings more challenging situations to make you grow and become a greater version of yourselves. And if you're watching this in 2020, have a great 2022, okay? Thank you very much. If you have any questions, just place them there and I keep uh, getting in contact with you guys and share value, share insight. Take care. Bye.